So today we're going to be propagating the Easter cactus or the Schlumbergera gartneri. That's its official botanical name. And this is one here. This is a tiny cutting that uh, I took about three weeks ago and you can see this one is already coming on fairly well. And what it's doing is growing some new leaves from the top of its, or oh, they're not leaves, these are actually stems and that's the difference between cactus and other plants is that the stems are what does the work. That does all the photosynthesis which is why they're green. It doesn't actually have any leaves at all. This one is now growing a new stem out of the top of the old one and when it's flowering time they will actually grow flowers from orioles on the end here. A very interesting fascinating plant and it's why they're so popular. Now as to how you propagate them, well there's a couple of ways of doing it. There's one is the traditional way to take a cutting and put it in a pot and wait till it takes root. The other way is to take a cutting and stick it in a glass of water. This is what we've been doing here and you can see that there has already been some fantastic success with this. Brilliant roots, that's about two weeks worth since it's been in a glass of water. Quite extraordinary and of course I can then plant that straight into the soil. But uh, before we do any planting or creating of roots we need to make some cuttings and it's really really important to let them dry off. Let's go do that now. So what we're looking for is a couple of healthy bits of stem, uh, ideally two pieces connected. Here's one that's got two little bunny ears on top and what I'm going to do here is just literally just get in here and very carefully nip it off at the bottom. So we've made a nice clean cut there but this is still damp, still wet, um, and there's natural sap there and what we've got to be careful is to make sure that that completely heals over. It's called callousing off. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay that um, on a plate on the windowsill for about a week before we plant it. So now we're going to take some of those little cuttings that we took last week and they've been drying off here on the windowsill and now they've got a nice calloused over end and they're ready to go into soil. And we're going to plant them in these little tube, little, little tube pots to get them going. They'll take, a, they'll take a few months to really get themselves some good roots. Um, so you don't really need a, a pot much bigger than this. Now, it's really important that you have well-draining soil mix to plant them into. So what I've got is some regular potting mix here. And I've got some perlite. Now perlite is gardener's best friend. And the reason for using perlite to mix together is this is a heat-treated mineral. It's, ex it's incredibly light. Um, and what it does is it allows the water to drain through uh, and the air to get into the soil and that's really important. Now the mixture ratio is really essentially two to one. So for every two of these I shall want one of these and mix that up together. I should do another two because I need some more for other things I'm going to pot up. A little bit more of this I think just to make sure I've got a full shovel load and then just give it a really good mix through and that is a that's a potting mix that you can use for almost any plants but particularly for succulents it's really important to make sure that you get very good drainage because they are very prone to rotting once they're put into soil and you've got to make sure that when you do water them you don't water them a lot but when you do water them there is plenty of uh, space for the water to drain out and air to take its place. So all we do is literally take one of these little tube stock pots here, fill it up loosely, stick my finger in, get this nice calloused off cutting here, pop it in gently and a bit more just surrounding. And there you've got it. That is all that it takes to propagate these apart from patience. Now, you will need a little bit of water just in the first instance, just to dampen it off a little bit so that it can get going. But then you probably only will water these once every 10 days to two weeks initially. They need to be dry. So if you're keeping them outdoors, you need to make sure that they're under cover. Best to keep them indoors. And you don't want them to be in super bright lights. You don't want them in the sunshine, but you do want to ensure they get plenty of light 
so that the photosynthesis can happen here through the stems and it can start to get some roots going. Only when you have good roots should you then start to water a little bit more, but still no more than once every seven to ten days maximum. Pretty well with any succulent. They just don't need a lot of water because they store it in the stems. So there we are. Easter cactus. One way in soil and the other way in water.